So we're going to keep going. Um, So when I was saving, I put it as Soldier's Keep, although I've said, I have said Soldier's Peak every time, and the game itself even says Soldier's Peak. I just, I have no idea what I was doing when I was saving. <laughs> so that's the thing. Um, so, I mean, if you guys want to tell me how to play, that's fine. Um, there are going to be a couple of really big decisions coming up, so that'll be fun. And uh, just so you know, it says, if the rumors are true, the ghosts of inhabitants past are going to be in Soldier's Peak. Um, that's true. There are tons of ghosts because it is riddled with the Fade because the Fade is awful. Um, there is no right choice except to kill Darkspawn, I guess. But, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of little choices to make coming up. If it, the game will load. <laughs> that is my only complaint with Dragon Age Origins, is that the load screens, regardless, are all very, very, very slow. Um, and it doesn't matter. Like, they're just, they're just slow. Okay. So we got our doggo. We got our doggo, Bonnie. Now we've got Alistair and Sten and Morrigan, and we are Clyde. Okay, so we stopped here when we entered the tower, so let's go forward to kill some undead. Come on, bitch. Also, I will be the first one to admit, but I am a terrible, terrible influence when I play Dragon Age. I always curse. <laughs> also, if we're going for things that when they get set on fire, that's why we brought Morgan with us. She's our fireball. She's literally a walking fireball at this point. Just saying. Okay. Um, so I will be nice, and anything that needs to be, like, anything that pops up that should be read, I'll read it aloud. Alright, so we're going to look at this book. Of course. Pattern notes belong to the Mage of Vernus, who was here during the heat. Okay, the Tain allows us to sense the dark spawn. The longer we survive with the Tain in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the Warden. Over time, it devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. But what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or tainted in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourselves the blood of the dark spawn in the most obvious way. We must die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining, isolate the true power that is found in the dark spawn blood, and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption spreading to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. So my magic, through my magic, I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I am starting to hear things, even while awake. A voice, more beautiful than any other, that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams, I see the black city, and I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what this thing is, this paint that we share with the dark spot. So Avernus basically is saying in his notes that he's already started to hear the calling. 
So that's generally when the uh, wardens will go down into Orzammar and into the deep roads and just fight Darkspawn until they die. Um, so this appears to be old research of the Mage of Furnace. They detail a series of experiments in cursed clinical handwriting. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. I love this stupid hat Or a dozen. The things I could do. Ah, oh, man. Ernest, why? Uh, so let's see. I think, actually, where's my... This is not what I want. I need this. I think she had a stupid hat on, too. Yep, she has a stupid hat, but I like her hat better. It's a thing. Alright. I'm almost out of space. <laughs> That's so sucky. Um, Alright, so we have an alchemical concoction. Uh, this noxious potion appears to be the culmination of Avernus's horrific research. It promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during the joining. You can drink the vial's content, destroy the vial, or leave the vial alone. What do you think? I mean, normally, like, it, it, it is pretty horrific. Like, oh god, the things, okay, you want to drink, okay. Let's go for it. Normally, I do drink it, but it's it's horrible what he did to get this. Pain racks your body, but there is power in his pain and a hint of understanding. You have access to new abilities. So let's go to yeah, not tape. So the power of blood. Um, you get dark passive, which is passive. So tapping the power of tainted blood makes the rogue more nimble, eliminating half of the movement speed penalty while using stealth and getting five percent to dodge a physical attack. You also get the Tainted Blade, uh, which is a sustain. The rogue's blood gushes forth, uh, coating the edges of weapons with a deadly taint. The character gains a bonus of five, like, uh, plus five plus cunning, divided by five to damage per hit, but suffers continuously depleting health of negative ten per two seconds in return. So this is one of those levels. I mean, you get to become super powerful, but then you um, actually are like using your own blood to power. It's basically the thing. Okay. And so, as far as you know, it's been at least 200 years since uh, this was used here. Um, and Avernus is right there. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Even now the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Um, so the old warden mage, you're still alive. Or I know your crimes, Avernus, you're a monster. Well, well, we could call him on his shit, or we could just ask him about himself. It is pretty amazing that he's still alive after all this time. He's not like a ghoul or something. Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? 
I want some answers. I'm debating whether I should let you live. I've seen your experiment. Soldier's Peak must be rid of a plague of demons. I'm here to recover the Grey Warden faded. Um, so, yeah, basically, we are actually here to recover the Grey Warden faded. Mm -hmm. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. Uh, so let's say that we want to rid it of its plague of demons. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. Oh, dude, I've seen what you did. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. As a warden, you should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. Mm. Charming. Now, to, to, to be fair, Alistair was trained to go after mages who consort with demons. So he is technically, a, he has all of the training of a Templar. He just never had, like, he never took any Valyrian, so he doesn't have that addiction to it. Um, so he can basically tap the skill without any of the, the downfall. Um, but he also has all of the bias against mages. <laughs> Um, I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Uh, wow. Okay, Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Levy, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 ha, and you are a dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. What? Oh. He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverer. Uh, please answer about this question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm sorry, Levy. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Okay. So you're going to tell me how you survived. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic, but there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Okay, look. The reason why the Chantry forbids blood magic is because in order to get enough blood to do anything, you kind of have to kill somebody. Oh, and um, the Tventer mages killed thousands and thousands and thousands of people to just do what they wanted. So I think maybe the Chantry was probably right. No good country. Um, uh, what was the purpose of your statement? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. Now, dude, it, it's not vampirism. It's literally you slit someone's throat and let their life blood drain out of them, and then you use that to power yourself. It's it's literally pretty horrific. Um, what power? The wardens use it merely to sense darkspawn, a triviality. My research has discovered so much more, hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, 
With it, the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Um, okay. So, only a monster would sacrifice his fellow Warden. Can you teach me what you've learned? Or you can persuade him that it's wrong and that he's no better than the demons. Uh, I mean, he is kind of a monster, but he's a useful monster. So let's persuade him. I have done what I must. But let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Can you teach me what you want? You've already read my research, but in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. <sighs> we could accuse him of being a monster. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Yes. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, tell me about what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she, too, is no more. Actually, it's better if you leave him alive because you can make him research the taint in more human ways. Uh, how was Ireland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison. His treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. Sounds like our life. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. Uh, you practice blood magic on the nobles? Of course, to nudge people to keep our secrets safe. Sophia should have let me nudge harder. Her scruples were her undoing. Her scruples were her undoing. Oh. Well, well, she wasn't, she wasn't cut throat enough, guys. Uh, he had to know the summoning so many demons was idiotic. Perhaps, but it was survival for months. I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. He sounds so flippant about what he did. He summoned, like, Close to like a hundred demons. Whew. Commander Dryden knew the demons? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tavinta. Wait, wait. Let's go ahead and remind him of his idiocy. You do remember how that ended? The Black City, Dark Sun. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know the Chantry is wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. Yeah, this he only cares about his research, and sadly, he's wrong. He's so, so wrong. The Chantry, in this particular instance, is right. <laughs> it's, it's actually right. <laughs> um, time for questions is over. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand. 
until the demons are dealt with. Ah. Uh, until the demons are dead, we are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. Like, okay, so I don't like Avernus. I think Avernus is awful. Killed hundreds of people. Um, for, for his research. And he didn't actually give them a choice. He actually tortured quite a few people. Nonchalantly, he, he gave no fucks. Um, but he's a useful monster, I feel. Um, well, yeah, you're right, Cody, that it is uh, practical to be skeptical of the church. The church is not perfect. The church is very, very flawed. Um, but in this instance, they're pretty, they're pretty right. And he does drop an okay staff. Um, he has a decent rope, but I actually have better gear for Morgan already. So I'm not really interested in killing him. Like the, and I think one of the other mobs in the area drops the rope too. So I already have it. Um, Aver yeah, robes of Avernus. See, it's plus three willpower, plus three armor, and improves blood magic. It's, it's not that great. So, I mean, there's there's way better stuff. Oh, there he is. He's so slow. God, he's like strolling. Uh, well, I mean, I'll be honest, I did cheat to get that money because my goal is to fill up the codex as much as possible as I can with this gameplay. So in order to do that, of course, you have to pick, act quickly. The um, demons are clawing on the gate. There's some the stuff you can only get for closed. purchasing. All right, let's, let's do this. I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. First, I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. I needed my Thorn of Dead Gods because, holy crap, that is such a nice dagger. <laughs> Okay, come on. Yeah. Let's kill them all. Come on, Avernus. You're slow as balls. Not there, it is. I'm like, it's not enough. There's still a desire, demon. In blood. <laughs> All right, so let's let's loot this desire demon. Okay, so that is a nice amulet. Uh, that's okay, but I got better. Oh, I need those. I need the rings. I think Leliana doesn't. Le I think Leliana and Sten don't have rings. <laughs> okay, Sten. Uh, I know Sten has rings, so it's it's Leliana that doesn't have them. So I'm gonna actually give him the set of rings I just got. Yeah, no, seriously, I am, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good for when you go up against the 
the stuff for the elves. Okay, so the desk and the donning. What is that? Uh, that one? Mm -hmm. And now he's got an item bonus that um, I don't know what that is. What should it say? But that's fine. Um, I think Morgan already has a pretty good net piece. I mean, like, that's what I have for him because I've already done uh, the Golems of Amarak. So that's what you get. It's like the, the, like the ultimate goal for that. Um, but this is really good for a mage. That's also really nice. Um, what is the second sword for her other spell? Because she's got that. That's a pretty decent spell. What's her other weapon? Final reason. Hold on. Where's she go? Any better? Yes and no. Uh, eh. I mean, she's, what she's got now is pretty nice. Okay. So we're going to talk to him again. Hey, Avernus. It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. And so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? Okay. Alright, so we can kill him. We can. Uh, you must attempt research ways to help wardens ethically. Your punishment is to live with what you've done. He doesn't care. Uh, you can cast him out of the wardens. Uh, that doesn't really help in the long run, I don't think. And you can say, I won't be your judge. So we're going to make him work for us. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old <coughs> geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. Mm -hmm. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Um... Even if you had proof, Sophia's actions were damning. The past won't offer redemption. Try the future instead. Your grandmother, I'm not sure about, but you're a good man. Or stop your belly aching. Um, probably doesn't do to insult our new buddy friend. Um, so let's say, uh, let's let's give him some some perspective and tell him that he needs to look to the future. For so long, I was focused on the past. On answers but I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home enough of that though I find myself at a loss you've got a whole fortress now I suppose I should start plying my trade again um where will you go soldiers peak seems like a lonely place any chance I could convince you to stay on it was a pleasure levy or farewell here we go I might use the peak as a base of operations. So many bandits about, but none would dare come here. Yes, nice place true. to store trade goods. You, of course, will get a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. It's always good to bring Alistair along because he's always like so happy about it. 
always so happy about it. Let's give Morgan a little more strength. Back. We'll give her a bonus to her mama. <laughs> it's actually like 10 like cosmetic mods uh, that a friend of mine patched together. Well, I'm sorry, a former friend of mine patched together to, um, make Alistair look more like Merrick and Kaylin. Um, since, you know, he look he and Kaylin look absolutely nothing alike. Uh, but they're supposed to be half brothers. They don't even look like it. So uh they went through they actually they put together one for um Morgan and Flemeth as well. And I have to say the Morgan and Flemeth ones look like, it's to make them look more like uh, Jason, because of them living in the car wilds for so long. Um, they're really, really nice. So, I use them, even though I don't like that person anymore. <laughs> so, you found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asturian's time. Perhaps Asturian's history points to this. So, let's recite, recite the Grey Warden of... Ah! <gasps> history. Treasures. Ooh. Uh, we'll take that. That's nice. Sure. Uh, I'm sure we can find it useful. Uh, And I've got so much crap. Yeah, we'll destroy that. It's not really worth much of anything. I'm destroy one of those. Okay. We'll just take all that. All right. So there we go, and that was literally the last thing to do here at Soldier's Peep. Um, and if you want to give Alistair a treat, he actually likes, even though he is, he has a bias against mages and he was trained as a Templar, he likes magical things like like little like trinkets that have like. Um, dragons edged into them and you know like little like magical rings that don't do anything Alistair is a weirdo if you like that stuff so uh yeah he also likes anything having to do with Grey Wardens uh of course so but we don't need to make him love us because he already loves us as as a friend as a friend so weird not to play a female because when I'm a female, I always have to, to romance Alistair. It is like a, a must do. Um, all right, so we have killed everything here. When we come back, um, this will be filled with dragons because they are like that. So let's get out of here. Um, and we'll go to camp first. Okay, so we have some options as to where we can go. Um, there's the elves, the dwarves, the humans, and the mages. So we have four, like, factions we have to go get. <laughs> um, I, I mean... Maybe if it was a female dwarf, Alistair is such a, uh, he's such a straight boy. Him and Morgan are the only two straight characters in this entire game. 
and I'm okay with it. Um, this is these are all part of a lovely mod that give you more storage, so like you can put something in here um, if you want. Could also help you level up items, like add slots and stuff. Like I I don't remember what half the mods I have to with me. <laughs> uh, Alistair is not a himbo because you have not met Zevran. So you cannot judge Alistair because once you meet Zevran, you will understand. Alistair is a, um, whew, he's a big whore. Let's just be, let's just be honest here. Um, you can have that one. That's a good one for you. Okay, we're gonna take Morgan's ring. <laughs> um, Alistair is Alistair. Actually, you you do kind of have to work to romance Alistair. Um, and you can screw it up. Uh, and there's literally only one route where you can actually marry Alistair, but I am not on that route. Of course, when I played it for Amy, we totally did that route because she loves Alistair. Ew. Yeah. Oh, man. Where the heck did this come from? Honestly, look at that. Plus 100 fire resistance, plus 100 cold resistance, plus 100% electricity resistance, plus 100 nature resistance, plus 100 spirit resistance. Increases experience from codex. I mean, that's so nice. Uh, we will save that because we will need that for um, certain aspects. There is a dragon we have to go fight later, and I don't mean, aw. Uh, um, Therial. Oh, man. Yeah. I guess we'll take the health potions. The amount of potions I'm not so big about. Um, let's see here, we're gonna pop up this one. Um, Is there anything else I want to wait for? Like, that's for when, so I will... I'll hold on to that. Um, gateway amulet. What the hell? What the hell do you say? I'll hold on to that. Uh, spell word. Well, that's nice, too. I might give that to... Uh, Alistair Stone. Like some of these, I just, I found them from talking to uh, Bowden, and they're so nice. I was just like, mm, that's named, I have to buy it. Uh, oh. All right, let's let's go to boat, and I want to sell some of this crap that I have. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Look, look. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. If you don't have something your pretty and shining that I can give to Morgan, I don't care. I don't care. Yes, my my whole uh goal this exact ter uh, term is to romance Morgan. I'm gonna have a little witch of the wild baby. Uh, that's fine. I need to make some uh, taps and stuff. Let's sell those. Uh, nope, nope, not that. Okay, 
Buka opos. Ya. And we'll spell those. Those are attributes. 18 gray water long sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, have a lot of crap. Plus, going through uh, wardens or soldiers speak first thing generally makes it um, so you get a lot of crap at the beginning. That's good for Liliana. Mm, that's nice. Mm. I spell those. I don't like care about that crap. Ancient album armor. I've got, I think I've got a couple pieces of that already. I mean, if you give yourself um, a thousand gold before, like if you're, okay, so can't play console. You have to play basic because you have to have access to the console, like, mechanism that only is available for PC. And if you give yourself a thousand gold, when you reach up with Bowden, you can buy all of his, um, all of his nice stuff. That's crap. I mean, that's that's got a lot of defense, like resistances and stuff. But we're gonna, we're gonna pull those too. Um, I mean, that that's okay. I'm gonna sell it though. Cause we've got the heart over their thing, so it's better. I'm gonna spell that. I'm definitely gonna spell it. I don't wanna care about it. I'm gonna spell that because I don't care about it. Uh, <laughs> and that. Okay. Let's hold on to that. I don't know which of these is worth keeping. Not those in this piece. I don't think those are in purpose. Those are all junk. Um, I don't think I ever get that to anybody, so we'll just put that over there. Okay. So that's, that's good. We will, um, yeah. That's one here. I'm going to spell one more thing. Yeah. Alright, and then we'll see what else he has. I think I already have that, don't we? Yeah. I think I have all of the stuff that he can sell for that. Oh, those are nice. Um, Baelish ceremonial boots, female only. Okay, can you move? Huh, that's nice. He does have something shiny I can give to Morgan. I'm okay with this. Alright, so what shall we do next? Should we ooh, let's buy that? Those are Grandmaster rings.
should we go after the mages and get win again? Or should we go get, um, do you want to get win first or do you want to get shale first? These are the questions. They are the only questions that matter. Wynn will get us another mage who heals, and Shale will get us a golem, because who the hell doesn't want a golem? Shale is the best. Shale, Shale is, is freaking amazing. Uh, if I get Shale, we will be replacing Sten in the party. Because as much as I love Sten, Um, I mean, she calls Morgan Swamp Witch. Uh, she calls Zevran the Painted Elf. Uh, she calls you it. I don't know what she calls Sven. I've never had Shale and Sven in the party before together. So, um, so we'll go get Shale then. I know I bought... I just buy some stuff for someone. Oh, for Morgan. There. Let's pull up Morgan. Well, Morgan loves us, but we can we can certainly certainly screw that up. <laughs> she is biased. She doesn't really like many of the mages for good reason. But she's not exactly wrong about Morgan. She is a swamp witch. I await your command. Um. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> uh, have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. Well, I mean, yeah. Um, and you are cute when you're a Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes, by Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Uh, you found it fun? I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Oh, actually, more <laughs> Sometimes, eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Mm. Don't you regret hurting any of those men at all? I don't think she would. Ah, uh, what exactly is a prostate? Do you still think it think that was fun or they got what they deserved? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? Mm. So absolutely there are worse things than death. That's a pathetic justification. You're probably right, or I have no opinion on the matter. 
I think I'm gonna go with three. Thank you, right? <laughs> An enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. But I want to date you, Marvin. If I date, I I'm your sleep in the same tent as you. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Um... Okay, let's ask her why she's still here. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Um. No, I don't want you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Ah, uh, wow, that didn't even lose us any approval. Okay. Um. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> No. I'm probably gonna have to look up how to do it. It's been so long since I've romanced her that it none of it is I don't remember how to do her path. Okay. Uh so let's go ahead and search working on getting shale. Um Morgan Alistair yes. and Stan. Yes. And then we'll just go here. Like down here, you can see the progress of the dark spawn as they move in. Oh, like is it ambush? Oh no, it's the tra it's the dwarf trader guy. You have coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Oh, hey, Game Thirst just released a video about that uh, guy who's trying to shut down the SPC with you. Uh, let's do this discount of yours. I need this plan. You literally have. Oh, wait. I need that for Stem. I need that for Liliana. Barnate Leather Belt. Oh, no. So I will take that for Liliana. This is story driven. Um. Temple. Thank you, dude. Oh god, I've been playing I've been playing this guy and watching you play this guy way too much, Cody. I'm now quoting Penny. That's a tragedy, dude. Let's see what poisons we can make. I need to have my prison making. <sighs> what trap can I make? I need to make. I need to <laughs> up my trap making too. Um, okay. I am yours. Whoa. Whoa. Really now. Um I mean we stopped at health poultices. Okay. Can't do anything from crafting right now. Um Look at Alistair playing with his little hand puppet. It's so cute. It's so cute. Your wish. 
Okay, now, we've got Alistair and Morgan in the same shot, right? She's got a little Alistair voodoo doll. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm a terrible person, but it's funny. Shokke basi tisra, mara de starit. I've never seen him try to use that before. Okay, so I've also got cosmetic um, mods on Stent to make him look more like the Knari in To an Inquisition. So many cosmetic mods. Maybe that's why my load time is so bad. <laughs> Actually, I know for a fact that that's why, but I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so this is the traitor. Right. The traitor that we need. Uh, oh, wait. Elfreed. More Elfreeds. For healing potions. Those, those are important. Oh, look. Death root. I need that for poison. Don't judge me. Okay. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Go after the mule. Part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. A merchant out here? I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? So, I don't know if anybody recognizes that that is Steve Valentine, Alistair's voice actor right there. Uh, and he, he doesn't sound much different in my opinion. Um, help a fellow out, how? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But uh, maybe you could? Okay, so I'm I'm a dwarf. I know what a control rod is because that's that's just dumb. Um, what's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Oh. And how much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I've paid too much to simply throw it away. How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our mm, troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? All right, fine, I'll take it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. If not, I'll be uh, back. Uh, oh, then I really hope it works. Best of luck to you then. And now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Yeah, I, I don't chase after me. Little dwarven legs do not run very far. Okay. So now that we have threatened uh, this dwarf 
say, guys, um, let's head to Homley's. And if anybody knows anything about um, Dragon Age characters, Homley's is actually the village that uh, Colin came from as a child. So. We're going to be attacked again. Oh, this one. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. I'll we'll just go ahead and take this. this star away. It is random, but it's it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, the wife's name is even named Marta, which is a form of Martha. So yeah. There are so, so many random references to other things in the Dragon Age series, and I love that everywhere on the Bioware uh, team that does this is just, like, they're all unrepentant. They're just great. But I still think that the, the Superman reference is probably my favorite. Okay, so we're here, we're in Hanley. Oh look, people are still actually alive. <laughs> I'm poor, I need my money. Well, I mean, you can always watch me. I plan on, uh, because I have the Ultimate Edition, I plan on playing all of this and then going to 2 after I play Awakening. Come on. Move them stubby. Nope. Nope. That one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this and as much of the DLC as I possibly can, including like golems. Well, I mean, do you have the games to play? Because that would be important. And so I shall. I need a lot key. Do you have the of DLC for one and two? Because the DLC for the both of those games is actually it's really funny because I like that in Dragon Age the DLC is not like just like random stuff. It's actually canonically relevant. So it's like if you don't play the DLC and you try to play the next game, you lose so much of it. Uh, like, if you go directly to 2 from here, you miss all of the stuff in Awakening with Anders. Um, so you don't really get to understand just how much Anders, um, how justified his dislike of Templars is. You don't really get to understand who um, Justice really is. It's kind of like, I feel like if you don't play Awakening, you miss a lot. And I say that as somebody who played one and then went right to two and then um, started talking to people about it and then missed a lot. And I had to go back and replay. 
Um, so I speak from experience. Like if you don't play Awakening, you miss a lot. Um, oh wait, thank you. You can judge me for this. I don't care. I need all of the owl food I can get my hands on. Because I need it to, to give people later. To the elves. And I recruit my own. And I need my death fruit or my poison. So, whatever. Um, just kiss my death fruit. Look, there's the golem! Let's. Oh, look! There's an alpha! Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Poisons do so much. I never really understood how much damage poisons did, and I feel dumb. But then I was like, if I've played, I've never really played as a dagger rogue before. So this is like the first time I've done dagger rogue, honestly. So I guess it's a good time for me to use poison. Okay, and so I shall. Oh, a random villager. Hey, I got your key. I got your key. I got your key. I'm gonna open your chest. <laughs> Delighted. Oh man. Delighted. So I want you guys to know that I hate the fade. Like on a visceral level. Like, All right. like down to my atom. My molecules. Down to my electrons and protons. I hate the fade. It is the most tedious. I have stupid things you have to do in this entire game. And if I play, I skip the bit. But so I, I moved my skip the fade mod just for you guys. So I'm going to suffer through the day when we go to the Mage Tower. I'm kind of not looking forward to it. Just saying. <laughs> not looking forward to it at all. But, I mean, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. Yeah? I might as well, like, get the whole experience. And then, as soon as I'm done with this playthrough, I'm putting it back in. I'm never going to play it again. Alright, let's talk to Shale. Okay, well, isn't Shale impressive? This statue appears to be an artist. What we are looking at is a golem. It would appear it is defunct, though there may be a way to revive it yet. On closer inspection, it appears to be a golem like those few that remain in Or's mark, but obviously damaged and corroded by inactivity. Uh, do look, guy. I see the golem. Nothing happens. Apparently, either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. Okay. And yes, I will whisper creepy, creepily all the time because that is how I roll. I love to whisper creepily, especially when I'm playing. Uh, Dragon Age. I do not, however, whisper creepily when I play uh, Rainbow because that game is creepy on by itself. That game needs no help to freak me out. Or anyone else, for that matter. That game is just creepy. Um, small flawed nature crystal. Okay. 
Kills a dark spot. <laughs> As I throw poisons and acid to people, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Are you saying you will miss my creepy whispers when I'm done? Although I do know that that is a uh, uh, cat. What is that? Careless whisper by uh, God Wham. I really love the remake of that by uh, the cover that uh, they did for the Careless. Uh, this is the library. Um, this doesn't look like any library I've ever seen, but I, I guess this would qualify as a library. Um, the librarian, however, should probably be fired. Or maybe they should hire a librarian? Oh. Well, I'm at the circulation desk. I demand some assistance here. Hello? Gosh. Humans just to have the worst, the worst service. Let me tell you. Okay, and this is the winery. Oh. Uh, that human has an axe through its skull. What? Probably not a, a good sign for him. Oh, look! Look! Humans! Behind a barrier. Come here, you little weeb. Come on, die. Oh, hell, you did not. No, you did not. Oh, I didn't get to kick anybody in the cock. I mean, that that's what dirty fighting is all about, is being able to kick, kick a guy in the crotch, right? And, and making him... Double over because we're all the, the, the pain. Okay, decades old butter. Excuse oh, you. Uh, wait, wait. Madam, I can assure you that the Circle of Magi is not a sacrilegious institution and that indeed we operate under the supervision of the Chantry. It would make our investigation of your husband's death much easier if you would simply cooperate with us. I'm disappointed to hear that you sold the golem's activation on. I understand both it and your husband were of invaluable aid to King Merrick during the war during Orlay. Without the rod, you cannot discern whether Wilhelm's golem was responsible for his murder. The golem will simply have to remain where it is unless the villagers can find a means to destroy it. Our condolences to you and your son for your loss. I imagine it's a little, little consolation to you, but your husband is much admired here and will be missed. Make or keep you, Kirsten Chandler Arlen. I guess he must, uh, he must have been before Urban. That's awesome. Uh, all that work to kill that emissary and all that gave me a thing to me gold silver. Can't even get me gold. Super, super nice. Okay, Alistair, have some. 
Have some willpower so you can have some more stamina. Um, have some more health, I guess. Um, okay. Um, yeah, no, go for this. Cleanse area is fine. I'm going to go on to the major power soon now, so it's plus we're going to be fighting the demon soon. All the demons. Okay. By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. And that, my friends, is Johnny Reese Collins voice actor. Uh I doubt anyone thought you were still alive. Ooh. Ooh. What harsh. Um, I wasn't sent by anyone. No, I'm a Grey Warden, or I'm looking for whoever owned that such a fight. Um, no, I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Here. Thank the Maker for our luck. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I'm looking for her own that statue outside. Uh, I've got a control rod, but it doesn't work. Our merchant told me about this place, actually. Let's go to that one. A merchant? Why would a mer- Oh, I think I see. This is about shale, isn't it? I should have known. Listen to the contemptuous way he says shale's name. I mean, it's not like I, I wasn't, like, totally honest with them about it. I love it. Clyde's like... A damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. Can I my mother touch it? Will it get me? My father and good riddance. Um, tell your father what he mean. My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? <coughs> and found him outside the tower with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him. <coughs> and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. Did he? If you really want to make really? Shale up, well, it's yours now. Did your father really deserve better? All signs point to no. Um, uh, I'm curious about this place, actually. Where are we? This was my father's laboratory beneath his tower. Or it was, anyhow. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful. But my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Uh, okay, wait, wait. I want to know how to activate that golem. How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did Mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She said she never wanted to see Shale activated again. Look, I don't care about so your kid. I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase. Just save my little girl. I'm begging you. Uh, okay, wait. I could intimidate him to make him tell me the phrase. I won't, though. Uh, how do you even know that she's still alive? What? I don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there, injured. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. I don't have kids, I don't understand that. Um, what killed this man who went after her? The defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it, well, we never came down here. 
ever. You will thank the maker. My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay, but if I kill her, is he going to be mad? He's going to be mad if I kill his kid, isn't he? Um, um, human. Okay. Alfred. More Alfred. Ooh. I hear creepy stuff. Dude, you know why I'm going to kill his kid. Uh, we are now in the study. We have come past the, the literal root cellar. Yeah, yeah, uh, see, I never claimed that I wasn't a terrible person, so, there is that, but, I mean, demonic possession is totally different over, uh, you know, kids in a burning orphanage, just saying. Okay, good job. Good job, everybody. Alistair, would you like a cookie? How about a new ring? Would you like a new ring, buddy? Can you give me one? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I am, I am pretty morally ambiguous. Um, I like gray characters because, like, it doesn't, like, like, more like gray characters because, uh, it means, like, you don't really, you're not compelled, uh, by, um, what is it? What everyone says is right. I just do what I want. Oh, sh Wait a minute. He's got a debuff on him? What is that? Unscratchable it. Alistair clenches his teeth and seems unable to focus. Penalty to dexterity. Ouch, when does that run out? Oh no, I think we messed up. Uh, I mean, I, I love it. I love it. But uh, I can't be having Alistair <laughs> penalized. That's going to get us all killed. <laughs> When I um when I play Dragon Age two, I, uh, a lot of the times I pick. I I usually go for Diplo Hawk, but a lot of the times I end up going for Purple, because <laughs> sometimes you just gotta fight. Sometimes you just gotta punch a mage in the throat. I'm just saying. It's just about stopping fraud. Can't I have like some flawless or some like not fraud? Okay. Welcome to my least favorite puzzle in the game. Don't cats like to be in trees? Okay, here's the girl. Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Uh. We? Who is we? Should that be? I mean, I guess who is we is grammatically correct. I just, it feels wrong. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. I have my dog eat your kitty. I mean, your your kitty looks 
here. The cat finds me distracting. We have to go, Amalia. Matthias is waiting. Sure, let's leave. You can bring the cat. <laughs> no, you cannot bring that cat. Uh, let's go. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. That's good boy, Bonnie. I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Oh, oh, that's not really a cat. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Um, right. What are you doing? I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I mean, can you guys hear the demon talking behind the cat? It's actually kind of cool. Um, I want the girl, so... Yeah. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Uh, let you have the girl. You may possess her. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Okay. So, is it morally wrong to lie to a demon? Because I'm pretty sure that's the best option here. I mean, we, we can give the demon a girl. That does. We can lie to the demon because we'll probably kill it. Um, we can just free it. We can yell at him, like, yeah, it's wrong. Or we can be like, yeah, I'll think about it. I mean, I think I'm gonna lie because I don't really want to let a demon know. What do you guys say? I mean, it's a cat thing. And as much as I love cats, I'm not letting a cat thing now. I think, I think I'm gonna fly and let it think I'm gonna have the girl and I'm gonna see it. But I'm really gonna fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'm gonna you. lie. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. This girl needs better taste than cat. Um, okay, so... Of course. Uh, no, you guys, you guys gotta stay here. Cause if you keep following me, I'm gonna be annoyed. Stay here. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Okay, I needed to come here. I need this or oh, this one here. I'm gonna. I know there doesn't like it, but he never met Kitty. As you desire. Okay.
Is that true? And so I says shall. Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? All right. Yeah, yeah, because your kitty is so true. My best friend. Of course. This child has terrible taste in friends. And I say that as somebody who's friends with Alistair. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> oh, Christ. No. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. This child. All right. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. So I shall. Okay. This is me putting all of my years of college prep <laughs> learning to What's use. A flower? Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Child, no one cares what you like. You also like demons, so I think your opinion is kind of null and void at this point. Um. wanted a cat and kitty is so perfect and pretty delighted okay so i need to not step in the fire thanks tell me a story of course Of course. And so I shall. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Delighted. God, okay, so this is my main problem with this stupid uh, attempt to do this because no matter what you do, you end up stepping in fire. Kitty. I don't care, child. Your father is actually smart in this one particular instance. Okay! Uh, no, I did not study yes. advanced tile I puzzle. I studied, oh, uh, foreign languages. It it's a caged. Latin Kitty? French. What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Uh <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I thought I'd leave. Freya, I didn't say I'd like you. The girl, she is mine. No, she's not. Kitty, you're scaring me. I won't let you inside me. I won't. Run, run, child, run. Good girl, good girl. Look at the boobs. That's the boob monster. Oh no, it's a boob monster. Come here, I want to kill you, boob monster. A boot monster all alone. And now it's dead. Okay, what did we get for killing Kitty? We got oh the helm of Homleaf, which is always really nice. Um, we got Court of Shattered Dreams, which is okay, I guess, and some mines. Uh, well, she is a stripper. I mean, Kid, I think Kitty is her name. Kitty is just her name, and she is a stripper. So, yes, that is her stripper name. But, I mean... That actually, like, putting this puzzle together is actually much easier than I've had it in a while. I mean, there's only so many ways you can solve it. So, that's the best. Okay. Time to... Oh, it's an aquifer. Oh, and look, there's actually water in the aquifer. That's kind of cool. So, it's ready to find some shade. Can you get out of the way? There's no blood, Alistair. <clears throat> okay. You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! Oh god, he's gonna cry. I away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's alright, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolin Hard. <coughs> If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Run. Get out of my face. <coughs> and it's funny because Colin never references anything about uh, Shale or... Um, Or Wilhelm or anything like that, even though this is where he grew up. And you never see any of the other Rutherfords while you're here. So it's just one of those. Huh. It's one of those. Okay, so Colin is technically from here, but we have no proof of it. Alright, so let's, let's go get Shale, guys. Let's go get Shale. Also, there's supposed to be a pantry here or something. Obviously not there, that's the tower. Could be the champion? 
something like that pushed down and crumbled. Be like that. All right, let's let's get to jail. And get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, Dumharn. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. Uh, I did not just stumble across it. So it knew what it was doing. Shocking. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Okay, wait. No wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? So mean. Okay, so who are you calling this murder? It's me or Shale? Because, I mean, we both are. So it's okay. Um, uh, not all of them, no. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Right. I mean, yeah, Shale is, Shale is a smart ass, but then again, so am I. So I think that's why I like Shale so much. Uh, excuse you. I would do exceptionally well on Jeopardy. Uh, do you have a name? You didn't care for them, I take it. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Excuse you, I am actually... I have an extreme repertoire of useless knowledge that would serve me well on Jeopardy. Right. Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. <clears throat> I'm not going to say it certainly does because I'm not going to refer to myself as it. It's not happening. Um, so, something wrong. I see the control rod, yet I feel, go on, order me to do something. <laughs> Fine, it's like Alistair. Hey. And, uh, Nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Um. Uh, so, what now? You go on a killing rampage? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil African birds or European droppings. I could crush them all. Hmm. I suppose if I can be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I have 
watched a hot watchy python and a holy grail like a million times. So you're never gonna catch me with that because you know Camelot is a story play. Uh what did it intend to do with me? Um I think it many uses for personal gun, but okay. Uh, let's see. I don't intend to do anything with you. Ah, how unexpected, yet refreshing. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Ah, uh, thanks for stating the completely obvious. Um, I think I want to go, I mean, think of it as a portable battering ram. I could tell it to do something else. It's coming with us, no question. How portable battering Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shadow, by the way. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I'm Clyde. Pleased to meet you. You would think that a Templar and a Mage Hater would get along, but Alistair is kind of suspicious of everybody. Considering. Okay, let's let, let's let's look at our companions. We've got a swap. We've got an apostate mage who might be a Maleficarum. Who knows? Whose mother might be a little Maleficarum? Who knows? We've got the crazy Chantry sister who told her the maker told said to come help us. We've got a Kunari that we let out of a cage who killed three families because he didn't get his he he lost his sword. Um, a dog who's probably smarter than him. Um, then we get Ogren, who, let's be honest, Ogren. Uh, then we got Severin, who tries to kill us. And then we get Wynn, who's like, she's a, she's a good mage. So, I mean, that's it. As far as Alex is concerned, the only people he can trust are you and Wynn. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, I'll see, Shale, is that supposed to be a joke? Not like standing frozen for 30 years while pelted with bird feces. Now that is a joke. Uh, she's one of the few mages who actually likes being in a circle, um, and I think that doesn't actually make her odd. It makes her comfortable, and it's, it's, uh, she's learned to live with it, because, I mean, she, at her age, Vivienne, of course, is also very comfortable in being with the circle. But the Orlesian circles are a lot different than the ones in Thorobin. Um, I mean, I'd, I guess, out of all of our companions in this one, Wynn is probably the most normal. I mean, Alistair's pretty normal, too, for all intents and purposes. So it makes sense that Wynn is the only one he can trust. Okay, so everybody say goodbye to Sten. Yes. Yes. We're gonna wretch. Aww. Shale is not pleased. It's okay. We have gifts to Alistair didn't like that we said Shale could 
hit him. Imagine being that touchy. Ugh. Okay. Uh, first off, I'm gonna go to other. Scale for pet rock. Ooh, shiny. What should we name Shale's pet rock? We can name it Herbert, but uh, I'd like to give it, I'd like to do a consensus for the, the rock's name. What would you guys like to name the rock? Rock. Patrick. Patrick's a good name. Name it Tyrell. <laughs> Uh, be, are, are you saying he's as dumb as a rock? Because I will name it Tyro. You know I will. There we go. The rock's name is Tyro. Okay. Um, a large trickster for soul. Okay, um, I guess our next one, next place, but we're going to go to the tower, and I guess we're going to go ahead and give her a fire. I think that's really going to be our best bet right now. Um, and now let's go to weapons. Um, let's go ahead and give her a fire. Look, she's so pretty. <gasps> pretty. Um, okay, so we gave her, we gave her Tyra the rock. Uh, let's give her for more gifts so she will like us. Lots of gifts are here. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. <laughs> I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. She doesn't like our thoughtful gifts. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Maybe I should buy her the Uncrushable Pigeon. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Okay. So Shell loves us. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Alistair. Oh, poor Alistair. So glad I didn't scratch that shit. Um... Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Yes. You can still love me. Thank you. Um, that's for Liliana. That's our Morgan. Okay. And then I will hold on to them. Oh, and these are all for Jen. This is Jen, and that's for Augur. Okay, and I will give that to Augur, and that's for Wayne. That's also Augur. Why are all the gifts you give to Augur? Straight up boo. Okay. I mean, having Shale in the party, you get strength, and I think Sten also gives you strength. So it's fine. We didn't really lose much, so I'm gonna get these trials away from the mark. Okay, auto save. So. Okay, so we are having so much fun, aren't we? Anyway, Morgan, what you have your weapon thingies on? I wonder we weren't doing as much damage as we should have. Morgan is going to save us. 
Okay. Anonymous money. Um. I love that. That innocent, like, I didn't do it, Shug. I love it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Shale is perfect. Shale is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go do the mages first. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of the fade first. Because I really wanna just get that over with. It will of course take us time, but So the order I normally do it is the I, I do the Mage Tower, and then I did Orzammar, then I do the Forest, and then I do Red Cliff. So I get like Eamon and the humans last. Um, and then before I go to dinner, I'm going to do Return to Oscar. So. Oh look, it's a killer bear! No, oh, come on, bear, stop! The bear didn't want to die. I don't like this. Bear's supposed to die. The elf root. Death root is up here. Go through these two statues. <laughs> we continue on to the tower. Any day now. Okay. Oh. No, it's fine. I'm good. Okay. So we have a scavenger over here. Hey. Back off. I was here first. Right, you haven't seen a sword, have you? Why? You looking to buy one? Oh, uh, it's an eye blade. A Q what? Uh, it's giant. Oh, then. Uh, to tell the truth, this place was mostly pit clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The walls didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. <coughs> Alright, he sold you this spot. Does he own this one? No, no, that's some freeholder or other. He just sold me the looting rights. I'm not building a house here or nothing. He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It will scare the piss out of him. Ah. Okay. Well, now we know what happened to Stan's sword. So that's cool. So sorry, bro. Uh, We're coming here it? to see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me. What is the name they have for Mother and I? Apostates? Truly, it boggles the mind. 
Oh yeah, it's the Morrigan. So, it's the most power. When you were standing there all that time, did you sleep? I have no need to sleep. My body does not tire or so do oof, other flesh-related functions. But don't you get bored? Wouldn't you want to dream at least? I do not dream. This is what it does when it sleeps. It pours its nose and mumbles incoherently. Yes, of course. I thought we all... Huh. You watch me? I watch all closely when they are still at night. There is little else to do. For... hours and hours? I count the breaths. It helps to overcome the overwhelming urge to crush their faces while they sleep. Well, I won't be doing much of that anymore. Poor Alistair, he's now gonna be unable to sleep due to nightmares. Whoops. How very fitting that they would build a prison for mages in the middle of a lake and make it look like a giant phallus. I could just walk along the lake bottom to reach the tower. It, however, could not. Okay, one, thank you, Morgan, for pointing it out. Two, Shale, no, we could not walk along the lake bottom. Thank you. Bonnie, go pee on the boat. Yay! Bonnie peed on the boat. Okay. So, we'll loot some sacks. Hey, that's what she said. Uh, As you desire. And let's go talk to the sleepy bear. Also, oh, oh god, the two, the two, like, people over here, no, oh, they're not here yet, but, like, there's two people who show up here later, who, they have, like, this existential crisis, and it, like, totally breaks the fourth wall, and I love it, it's so funny, I love it, more than anything, oh god, so let's, let's talk to these guys. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Uh, yeah, I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Regulars. Oh? What is this about? Yeah, uh... I'm here to bring you up for desertion. I'm worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Mm. No, because you're gonna attack me. So now, never forgive, never forget. That's how this works. Hey Morgan, look, you are. What are your tactics at two? Yeah, no, um, let's put you to damage up here. Weapon set. Okay. Alrighty. Um, plus this set. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Okay, how can I help you? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Oh, I'll take a look at the request. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the collective. Make us smile upon you. I love how this game like abuses your low and self for it's like incidental characters. Like you hear him like everywhere you go.
perhaps. As you desire. Almost like I don't. Twenty months, so why can't I turn me? Delighted. Bring ten bundles of deep mushrooms to the mages collector. Maybe I can talk to them. Client is very pleased. Come back soon. Alrighty. So let's go talk to the Templar over here. Standing on the bridge. You. You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. His name is Carol. I'm a Grey Warden and I seek the assistance of the major. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Ah, these documents yes. here. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha, so you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Uh, not much. You're obviously a Templar. If you can't prove you're who you say you are, I'm not letting you in. All right, that's enough. Let me crush a few body parts it can't possibly miss. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. <laughs> Bless you. No, I'm not quite ready for I'll just be Bless you, Shane. Just standing, waiting. Don't mind me. I think that's the first time I've ever brought Shale with me, and that was beautiful, and I love her. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that was the right, uh, that was the right answer. <laughs> oh. She's like, only I'm allowed to be a smartass to it. Everyone else must be. Be nice to it, or I will crush them. Beautiful. It's great having a short-tempered uh, golem on my side. Okay. Uh, we're going to go in here. Uh, we're going to open this chest. <laughs> Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Uh, yeah, I think a drink. Of course. What would you like? I mean, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be short-tempered, it does help if you're a freaking walking mountain, doesn't it? That's I need space. I don't know if I really like this bag. It's not as good as the ones I have. I mean, it's got a little more damage on it, but don't know if that god is still better. Um. No, I'll just give this. I'll hold on to this for Zevi. Weak and sad. Nearby, dark is falling. I need more strength. Guys, I need more strength so I can main hand that.
nug of pain. Okay. Just gonna fall on the ground. Never gonna use that, and I don't really care about acid flasks. I mean, I've been using them, but they're not really all that great. I'd rather have all of the venoms and stuff. Oh my god, my traps. I'm never gonna use traps. I never ever use traps. There's no point. Does not have any use at all, I don't think. Of course, certainly don't going to Okay. Okay. So we've made a little more space. I'm going to pop this here. Oh my goodness. It's not as hard. Then I'll uh, here. Oh, okay. We're going to open the portable enchanter, thank you. A novice, maybe? No. Um, we're going to fight a lot of undead, so we'll probably do that. Alistair. Oh, you guys. You're going to invite me? I need, I need some space still. I can just enchant that. <laughs> oh man, that's so nice though. Gosh, okay. And that is how you make fun, or uh, more space. Without fun, without like having a fun thing. Okay. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Is there anything I should buy? Of course. What would you like? Here's the wine. Let's get the wine. One thousand extra <gasps> lands. I can buy all of those. Um, I can just buy all this stuff eventually when they are to use it. I guess instead of making traps, I'll just use the metal shards to get to the um, when um, eventually get them. Thanks, Tim. How much space do I have? Yep. Alright. Um, 
get out of here. Oh. All right. So now we're going to go across the river or the lake to the tower. And I don't know how far we're going to get into the tower because it is already 3.30 and we only have half an hour. That just means Thursday is going to be all about the last Thursday. Okay. Oh, hello. It's you again. Come to chat a little, have you? I like to go to the tower now. Long, I suppose. Like, I could always let Shell squash you. That would make her happy and it would make me happy. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Okay, so the answer to that, Alistair, is both. They are doing both. Uh, what's going on here? We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Uh, no. The mages have an obligation to the Grey Warden. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. Um, how did this happen? We don't know. We saw only demons hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. So you ran? Big, big Templar man. Mm. Well, that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, what can I do to help? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Okay, uh, the right of annulment? What? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Um... The mages are not defenseless. Some must still live. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. 
It is too painful to hope for survivors and find nothing. We're not even looking for people. Well, fine. I'll look for survivors. An abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Oh, point is what? Not seeing it. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. The right thing to do. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. So I gotta go find this old dude or you're gonna leave me here to die. Thanks. Thanks. Hope you rot. I don't want to die. I... Uh, do you have anything good, Quartermaster? I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Um, perhaps. Yes. I Would you like to trade? No, I just like asking these questions because I have nothing better to do. Am I the last dumb question? I want that. Oh, we will be taking that. Thank you. Um, I Plus 2% melee critical chance, double what I have right here on my longsword, but double the critical and backstab damage. Uh, it's also got the chance to knock target back. That's a lot of damage, actually. But I won't buy it. Okay. We're At going the in. Hall, shutting the door and throwing away the key was definitely the Templar plan B. So the mages are all locked within. A fitting end for those who gave up their own freedom. They should keep all flesh creatures in confinement, not just the mages. Thank you, Shale, for your addition to this. Uh, no. We don't all need to be confined, but thank you. Alrighty, so we're on the stupid tower now. There we go. Oh. A pile of silk. I was looking through a bunch of that. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so we're going to keep an ear open for any uh, screaming humans or NLs. Okay. It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Hey, hey, hey. You want to be taken down? Because, I mean, I'm the only thing that's stopping Gregoire from coming. Well, not Gregoire himself, because he's a coward. But, you know, Templars coming in here and, you know, raising the whole place to hell. I mean, if that's what you want. Um, in response to you five, no, he did not. He did not notice that I am walking around with a bunch of killers. So uh, it might be the fact that um, I'm a dwarf. So maybe he doesn't think much of dwarf. Maybe he's a racist, as well as you know a mage hater. Oh come on. There we go. Uh, I'm not here to fight. When or what are you doing here? Uh, or you have children. Let's go with I am a mage of the circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. Well, I came here to be made of the mages. And you were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Uh, now they're waiting for reinforcements. So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. Yep. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Uh, what happened to it? Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride yeah, and it's, stupidity. It's the hair. It's really the hair that changes it. Um, because her hair was so off in the base game that changing her hair actually changes the way she looks. And she's always been crazy. I mean, oh no, wait, you know what? Wind is also not normal because remember, she's technically an abomination. So, what do you intend? I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Uh... Yeah, okay, so you know how she's... She's, act, she's technically... Um, being capitalized by a spirit of faith, right? Because she took a blow that should have killed one of the other, uh, one of the apprentices. So 
like she let a spirit of faith basically come reside in her body and that's why she's still alive but she's technically an abomination or at least the chantry would not make any um difference between her and an abomination yeah yeah i mean like everybody remembers that uh, what happened with Anders and Justice in Dragon Age 2 because it's such a pivotal plot point. But everybody forgets, everybody forgets that Anders is not technically the only abomination you have walking around in your party. Uh, um, very well, I will help you. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Um, Gregor will only accept it if the first enchanter trusts her. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. I will let children be safe. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Okay. Is that good? You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages and they allow themselves to be corralled like cattle mindless now their masters have chosen death for them and i say let them have it um <laughs> the options you could have been one of them if things were different i've made my decision we will help win why do you treat the circle with such scorn? Hold your tongue, you harpy. You will do as I say. Um, I'm pretty sure that if we call her a harpy, she won't let us sleep with her. So let's go with one. I could be here had my mother not shielded me from the Templars, so I am to show sympathy. Please, my mother please. often said that things are the way they are because they could not have been any other way. I always questioned this. Do what you wish. I care not. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. Or your gra generosity knows no bounds, Morgan. Or let us leave as soon as possible. Uh, let's let, let's go with the people. Do not patronize me. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Uh, let us be off. We talk to him next time. If you are ready, let us go in this. Okay, so if... So here's the thing. Morgan will not come with... I mean, she will, but she'll bitch the entire time. So she won't go with you. Um, so we'll take... I think she Yes. And then instead of, I mean, we could take Alistair, but it kind of takes Den. If if I'm perfectly honest here, um, so let's take Sten. Yes. Mainly because I've never seen what Den's thing in the fade is, or Shale's. So this will be this will be me. Um. Alright, here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Um Did it tire you out? It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, sure. we're ready. All right. Be on your guard. All right, so we have about 11 minutes uh, before I normally would call it. 
So what's going to happen is um, it's going to take us a while to clear out even this bottom floor. So we're going to call a little early today. Um, and we'll pick up Thursday and we'll try to do as much of this as we possibly can on Thursday. Might just start early so we can get it all done in one sitting. Um, so we're going to call it here. Uh, tomorrow we will be picking up trails in the sky. So please stop by if that's what you're interested in. Um, and then we'll pick up on Dragon Age on Thursday. And we will see where that goes. So it was lovely having Alan.